let's see what is microservices now before directly jumping towards the microservices and see what is the fuss about the microservices let's first understand the history now earlier whenever we were building the application what we used to build the application is using the monolith architecture what do you mean by that so what we used to do is till now we used to create the application suppose let's take the example of the e-commerce application so this is the e-commerce application and this is the entire application itself okay my drawing is really bad so please don't mind okay this is the application and this application would be consisting all the different modules suppose there is a shopping cart module okay shopping cart is there then orders is there then payments is there then product catalog is there okay users are there shipments are there all these different modules are there in your particular project okay and all these modules are there within the one architecture means one code base itself okay that means your all these particular modules are built using one tech stack okay suppose we are suppose this application is built using the java tech stack so everything is within the java tech stack and you deploy everything using a one bundle okay everything is deployed using one bundle so suppose this this entire box is one bundle so this is something you will be deploying so this is something that we used to be doing till now that means if you are just doing the change in your shopping cart services okay if you did any changes your team then also your entire application is going to be deployed if there is any change in your order services then also your entire application is going to be deployed because your entire application is one code base and all the different modules are there within one single code base itself one application means one application contact itself so this was something that we used to be doing till now now doing this there are disadvantages to it suppose we take the same example of a shopping cart like we did some changes in just a shopping cart itself okay we didn't do any changes in any of the other modules or any other uh, or any of the other services but still we have to deploy this entirely we have to deploy order product and everything all together bundled and deployed so that means rather than just deploying this one particular service we are deploying each and everything so that means there is a headroom as well added to it if i would have been deploying just shopping cart it would have taken only five minutes or ten minutes but now i'm deploying each and everything so it's adding a time to it it is also adding the complexity layer for the development purposes whenever there is any changes in shopping cart and a developers are doing changes in this shopping cart so those developers has to interact with each and every other developers who are doing some changes in the other modules as well like these are the changes that we are doing and we are going to deploy this particular thing at this and this particular time of period so all this collaboration has to be done when you are building a monolith applications and if it comes to scaling as well so at the time of peak sales or anything your shopping cart is something that is used a lot your orders and your payments and everything it's been used a lot so what happens is to scale the entire application you have to scale your entire application itself so there is a lot of headroom in terms of cost as well in terms of inefficiency as well your your application is not efficient enough for your cost savings and your performance as well you because you are deploying your application entirely where some of the modules are not needed that much still the, those are scaled up so there is a too much cost involved in it so this is a scenario that you see and you have developed using the monolith application now to solve this type of scenarios and to solve this type of situations microservices comes into picture what is microservices microservices are nothing but a micro applications it is nothing but micro applications divided into small parts okay so what we can say is all these particular applications are there right all this uh, different services those are divided into separate small applications so within your e-commerce platform there is a shopping cart is one application orders is one application payments is one application product catalog is one application okay you can see all these are different applications and all these are connected by any of the protocols now as all the services are separate applications separate standalone applications what we can do whatever we want so at the time of peak sales if i just want to scale up my shopping cart and orders i can just scale that i can have multiple instance of shopping cart and multiple instance of orders 
at the time product catalog or payments can remain the same so you can see that we got the advantage like whatever we want we can scale accordingly we don't have to scale each and everything whatever is required that only we can scale the other thing is all these particular applications are not dependent now okay those are not tightly coupled which means that the deployment process or deployment timelines for each and every applications can also be different in the earlier there was one application deployed all together so all the applications were deployed at the same time so if some of the application was not having any changes but still those were deployed but now if the, suppose there are few changes in the shopping cart so that shopping cart is only deployed so all these particular services can be with the different version suppose uh, for the shopping cart there are 60 deployments done for these orders there are only 40 deployments done for this product catalog only 20 are done so you can see all those particular services are with different versions with a different timeline with a different development team all together so you can see there is no direct connection between all these services everything can be independently work along now alongside all these advantages like you can scale those services independently you can work on those independently there are disadvantages as well so what you have done is your entire monolith application is been destructured into the different microservices now to maintain all those microservices and to work with all those microservices and to debug any issues or to trace any of the issues that you find it is very difficult because all those are different microservices now and all those different microservices call each other using any of the other protocols and to trace each and everything is really difficult so there are hundreds and thousands of microservices involved in your project and to trace each and everything like what happened at what particular point is difficult there are a lot of tools available to handle this but it is the thing that we have to implement in our applications in monolith that was not needed everything is a single flow and everything is maintained at one place here everything is different everything has to flow via one of the things all the all the things are distributed so we have to handle those scenarios as well and as in the microservices all the different microservices will be calling the other or each other microservices so to maintain which particular microservices failed or to handle all those error scenarios we have to do a lot of monitoring tools so there are a lot of monitoring tools involved and we have to make sure that all our microservices are monitored correctly and whatever the issues are there we should be able to figure out it as quickly as possible so this is the extra thing that we have to implement in our microservices architecture so that's the extra hiccup that a developer has to face to implement all those things now how you will be maintaining all these microservices when you are working with the monolith architecture you all the things are within one place and you would be having one repository for this right all the things are there in one repository everyone is working in this repository and for this repository there will be a ci cd pipeline that is the continuous integration and continuous development pipeline where everything is been deployed all together it's very simple though it's time consuming but it's simple but what about in the microservices so microservices can be maintained using two types of repositories that is the monorepo and polyrepo what do you mean by monorepo monorepo means all these different services are there right service 1 service 2 service 3 all these services are different all together but maintained in a single repository everything is maintained in the single repository okay that's the one thing and the other thing is polyrepo that means for each and every different services there is a different repository altogether okay so suppose uh, your order service is one of the applications so for all the order service there is the different repository for that for shipping there is a different repository for that and if this is payments for payments there is a different repository for that okay all the different services have the different rep repositories in the polyrepo and in the monorepo though all those are different services but those are maintained in the single repository altogether now both of this have its own advantages and disadvantages now whenever you're going with the monorepo what it does is how you would be doing is you will be maintaining everything in the folder structure so for shipment there will be one folder in the repository and all the shipment related code will be there in the shipment folder for orders there will be order orders folder created and in this order folder your order service will be there all the code for that if it is for payments payment folder would be there and the service for payment would be there in this payments folder and with this type of thing the advantages is you just have to clone one repository only one repository which is containing all this particular services and you can work easily on it 
okay that's the advantages you will get and what issues you will be getting is to handle your ci cd pipeline so what you have to do is you have to create this ci cd pipeline for all this particular services within one repo there are tools which doesn't allow multiple ci cd pipelines for a single repository you have to go ahead and do the work around to skip everything suppose if there is no changes in the shipment repository you have to skip this particular step if there is no change in the orders you have to skip if there is only change in the payment you have to do the or you have to run the ci cd pipeline for payment only this is all can be done but you have to write the scripts for it to do all those changes so you can see there is an extra complexity added in terms of ci cd pipeline when you are implementing it for the mono repo but for the poly repo for each and every different repositories you can easily create the ci cd pipeline okay and all the things can be worked separately for this ci cd it will work differently for this it will work differently for this also it will work differently all those repositories can work independently can be deployed independently the only disadvantages would be this that you have to clone all this repository separately and you have to maintain your code it will be difficult when we are working with the multiple repositories so this will be the issue that we will face when we are working with the poly repository so this is all the general idea about the microservices what is microservices advantages of it how differently we can handle the microservices like how we can create the repos and everything so because of all this all the tech giants and all the companies are switching towards the microservices architecture and to start building the microservices architecture so at each and every point they can scale and scale down according to the user requirement according to the functional requirement and one more advantage is also we get when we are using microservices i forgot to tell you earlier is with this type of microservice architecture we can create the polyglot architecture as well that means that in the earlier times in the monolith you can see that we can only use the one tech stack right but within the microservices we can use multiple tech stack suppose your order service is created in java your payment service is created in, in golang your shipment service is created in python all this is possible when we are working with the microservices because all these are separate entities all these are separate services they connect each other using any of the protocols so using any of the protocols this all connect so we can create all these microservices in different language based on the requirements so this will get the advantage to create the polyglot services in the microservices architecture so there are multiple ways as well to connect the microservices one of the most used ways and most popular is using the http protocol okay uh http protocol is used and for this rest apis are created all the apis are exposed and with those apis each and every microservices will be able to call the other microservices okay and the other way is using the messaging system using the broker okay so there are a lot of messaging systems are available so you can use any of the messaging systems available to make the asynchronous connection this will be synchronous right and this will be a synchronous connection so whatever the requirement would be we can go ahead with those requirements and we can build our system we can create the messaging system and one would be producing the messages and one service will be consuming the messages and based on that it will do some operations and it will pass on the data that way also we can develop our microservices so you can see that we have a lot of flexibilities in terms of tech stack that we can use in the microservices architecture we can do whatever we want we can create or we can use any of the languages any of the tools whatever we want using the microservice architecture but in the monolith that is not possible the only disadvantage in the microservices is to handle all the things to monitor each and everything so that's a really difficult part but there are tools available for that so we would be able to implement those tools and we can monitor those services as well so that was all about the microservices architecture and the advantages and disadvantages of it and the different ways we can communicate and we can handle all the services